from my breakdown of the facts is key. Obama regulatory reform plan officially established was bank banking dictatorship in the United States. And I'm asking everybody to go get this article from June 18th, three, four months ago, and to get it out to everybody again, along with the Napolitano video that we just played. I'm asking everybody to go and get this so people understand what's about to happen. Because if the foreign offshore banks get a total dictatorial power in the country, it's going to be rough. Either we abolish the Fed and arrest the bankers, or they're going to keep growing like a cancer. President Obama's plan to give the private-owned and unaccountable Federal Reserve complete regulatory oversight across the entire U.S. economy, which is likely to be enacted before the end of the year, now they're trying it, will officially herald the beginning of a new form of government in the United States, an ultra-powerful banking dictatorship controlled by a small gaggle of shadowy and corrupt elitists. The new rules would see the Fed given the authority to regulate any company whose activity it believes could threaten the economy and the markets. Yeah, but see, this is the group threatening the markets. This is the group that's done this. This is the group that did the derivatives. But now they're given, oh, total power to save us. That goes a step further than the centrally planned economies of the Soviet Union or Communist China in that the Federal Reserve is not even accountable to the U.S. government. It is a private entity that, according to the former Fed Chairman Alan Greenspan, is an accountable to no one but the banking families that own it. And he said that on uh, Lair News Hour. Obama's regulatory reform plan is nothing less than a green light for the complete and total takeover of the United States by a private banking cartel that will usurp the power of existing regulatory bodies who are now being blamed for the financial crisis in order that their status can be abolished and their roles handed over to the all-powerful Federal Reserve. And it goes on for page after page after page after page of detailed analysis. And I'm going to read a little bit more here, but the issue is either we say no to the government takeover of health care. That's just a new tax to the banks. They're just going to take over health care, water it down, take 20% of your paycheck extra. You're not going to get jack crap back. Okay? There's that. There's this banking takeover. There's the expansion of the wars. Uh, there's the, the Cyber Security Act taking over the Internet. There's the Cyber Bullying Act, free speech ending, hate bills, pass the House, openly says... You don't even have to call for anything criminal. You still get arrested. Ladies and gentlemen, it's all happening. It's all 180 degrees away from freedom. That cut to a close shot for me real fast right here. Okay, here is the political system. Okay, here is the political system symbolized as a circle. Okay? When we come back, I'm going to get into it. For everybody. Uh, but here is the political system symbolized as a circle. And I'll show you tyranny versus liberty when we get back after this quick break uh, on the other side. Again, the websites are infowars.com, prisonplanet.tv. And we're here live Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Central. We don't have the big New World Order media promoting us, we reach new listeners. One person at a time by you telling your neighbors, your friends, your family, your email list about this radio show. So keep spreading the word. The show is exploding in size. This is Alex Jones. Have you heard of the Millionaire Patriot? Well, you should. He has a free handgun and five days of firearms training waiting for you. That's right. You can attend five days of world-class gun training at Front Sight Firearms Training Institute and secure a 30-state concealed weapons permit, all for pennies on the dollar. Plus, if you act fast, the Millionaire Patriot will give you a free Springfield Armory XD pistol in the caliber of your choice. I believe now is the time that you and your family need to be armed and trained to levels that exceed law enforcement and military standards. 
Front Sight provides such training without any boot camp mentality or drill instructor attitudes. This is real. Don't miss out. Secure a Front Sight defensive handgun course plus a 30-state concealed weapons permit for pennies on the dollar and get your free handgun. Go to FrontSight.com today. That's F-R-O-N-T-S-I-G-H-T dot com. Go to FrontSight.com for your training and free gun. The establishment gets you obsessed with left and right. Those are two wings on the same bird of prey. How about focusing on the bird's head, on its mind, on what controls those wings? We didn't have a left-right system until 100 years ago, roughly, in this country and in the world. It was liberty versus tyranny, populism versus elitism. Who that person worked for, what that person stood for. And governments generally used wars to suppress their own domestic populations. There are even articles, uh, letters written 500, 600, 700 years ago by different British royals to their French cousins saying, yes, we're having rebellions here. We need to start a new war. Okay, how about next spring? Then it'll be nice weather for me to ride out and meet you. It was elites killing their own populations. They were one family in France, the Norman, that had already conquered England. And they were just out there killing their enemy, the people, in the staged war. They wrote books about it. But but here is the modern fraudulent system. There's different ways to explain this, but the left-right paradigm. So this circle symbolizes the total political system within the control paradigm. And you have tyranny on one side of the spectrum, and you have freedom or liberty on the other. And then you have the left on one side and the right on the other. Now, the right can be pushed by the people, because it's only a term, to manifest towards freedom. Or it can be pushed to manifest towards tyranny. The left can be influenced by the people to push for freedom. Or for tyranny. And so they confuse you. And generally, when the left is out of power under George Bush for eight years, they can be against the Patriot Act and wars and secret arrest. But as soon as they're in power, they're suddenly for it all. Just like Republicans under Bill Clinton could be against the police state and Patriot Act type legislation. John Ashcroft was against it. But as soon as he's in power, now they go for the tyranny. And so while they're confusing us, getting us to fight with each other over left and right, we're not involved within this system with the real debate of is it freedom or is it tyranny? Because this whole left-right system, as they move back and forth towards tyranny or towards freedom and liberty, is just something to confuse the people. So let's see where Glenn Beck is. Glenn Beck was for the banker bailout. Glenn Beck was for the Patriot Act. Glenn Beck was for the war. He's for tyranny. Okay, so he's supposedly on the right, and he's for all these things. Now, what is Obama for? For the war, for the Patriot Act, for warrantless wiretapping, for the banker bailout. When you actually look at real issues... These guys are 100% the same. But they'll throw a Van Jones to the Lions in the left-right gladiatorial arena. That's all this is. They'll have Van Jones, the little gladiator, get hacked up by Glenn Beck, the bigger gladiator, who's got the big sword, He'll hack Van Jones up and give you a whole left-right show. You guys are laughing. Is this a good analogy? Because if you look, that's all this is is an arena. I'm asking people to get outside the box and to have a larger debate about tyranny and freedom, tyranny and liberty, which side you're on, oppression and freedom. Okay, there's my uh, analogy. Brought to you by InfoWars 
dot com, ladies and gentlemen. And we'll give him a cigarette to smoke. There we go. Or something else. All right, ladies and gentlemen. There's the boil down. But but I do challenge everybody to go get this article titled Obama Regulatory Reform Plan Officially Establishes Banking Dictatorship in the United States. I want to challenge all of you to get this out to everybody, because while we're diverted and distracted by health care, they've decided for now to pull that off the front burner. They may try to sneak it through on the budget, but but that's pretty much a dead issue right now. They're going to go now for the banking takeover. That's the big enchilada. They tried four or five months ago. It failed. They're coming back again, just like they do with amnesty. So that's the bottom line. We'll cover it more. Uh, but Glenn Beck and others are going to be focusing in on firing different czars or things. And they all want you to focus on the puppet Obama. By the way, conversely, they don't just have Glenn Beck crushing the smaller gladiator of Van Jones. See, this is Beck, this is Jones. Obama then later...